Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. So the last video we did was obligation bypass. So this one's going to be IDOR. I reset it. And let's get started. As always, guys, uh, I recommend to read through all these tasks to get basic fundamentals, uh, understanding what they're talking about. Uh, and just a little bit about myself, I do not have IT experience, but this is something I like to do on my off time and I spend my own money and yeah. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, task one, what is an IDOR? Very simple. Question is, what does IDOR stand for? And as you read through it, it is insecure direct object reference. So this is another vulnerability to exploit uh, to websites. So task two and IDOR example, and it says click the view site. And what is the flag from ODIR example website? So instruction, check through the emails below and try to identify an URL that looks like it could potentially be vulnerable to IDOR attack and click on it. So the first one, I think, second, something, okay. And it says, now you can view your order confirmation, which contains your details, try changing the URL below to view order number 1000. Let's try 1000. There you go, that's the answer. Teach M, IDOR, vulnerability found, copy and paste. All right, task three, finding IDORs and encoded IDs. And as you just read through it, and the question is, what is a common type of encoding used by websites? And as you read, it's commonly is base 64. And there's a website to decode and encode. So base 64. Task four, finding IDORs in hash IDs. And talks about hashing. The question is, what is a common algorithm used for hashing IDs? And as you read through your task, is MD5. Then task four, finding IDORs in un unpredictable IDs. Question is, what is the minimum of accounts you need to create to check for IDORs between accounts? And as you read through your task, it says two. All right, task six, where are IDOR is located and the questions you just read above and it talks about browser, Ajax requests and parameters. So complete that. And task seven, a practical IDOR example, already start the machine and attack box. So let me close this out. All right, it says start the machine. Let's copy this website. Your IP address might vary. Oops. We paste and go. This is first you need to log in. To do this, go customer section, create an account. I read it. So once you create your account, you know, your username, password, and, and uh, email address, you'll come to this page. And let's go to your account. See, my name is Pile, and then my address right here. Now, it says start investigating information, browser development tools. So let's Go full view. 
So this is Firefox. So you go to more tools and web deliver tools. And what's the next step? It says go to network tab and refresh the page. All right, network tab, perform request reload. So let's, you can right click reload or yeah, or there's a button. So when you reload, there's customer ID equal 15. And the question is, is you can try testing this ID perimeter for ODIR vulnerability by changing the ID to another user's ID. Try selecting users with ID one and three, then answer questions below. So the question is, what is the user name for his user ID one? So let's right click and it says edit and resent. And let's try one and sent. Now it turns to one, what's the reset? You go over here, there's headers, cookies, request, and response. And the username for ID one is Adam84. So copy and paste. Awesome. And last question is what is the email address for user ID three? So again, let's edit and resent three. Sent response John nine eleven and the email is j at fakemail dot Copy and paste again. That's it, guys. You just completed IDOR room. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. As I already shared, mine's on LinkedIn. And it's a fairly simple room, guys. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. I'm trying to upload all these uh, rooms uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes Monday and Wednesday or Wednesday and Friday, depending how busy or free my schedule is. Um, and that's it. Uh, currently I am uh, certified and active in the CompTI uh, certification. This is, you know, recognized by my work. So I, I am uh, certified in IFT plus, A plus, CY, SA plus, Network plus, Pentest plus, and Security plus. Oh, uh, we'll be doing a video to show you guys how I pass these tests within a month or two, uh, a month time frame. It is a lot of grinding and studying and a lot of practice tests. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.